Right, today's the first official day of my... I've got three days off um, and the weekend, so I've got five days off just to do nothing but Playscape. And you know what? The older you get, the more you enjoy it because I've not enjoyed playing this account so much as I have in the past couple of days. I've made pretty mad progress and I am loving the Infinite Porter. Like, for the stage of this account where we don't act... We can get ports, don't get me wrong, but... We do have to keep swapping in the portals because we don't have the Grace of the Elves. To have the full like Grace of the Elves, Grace of the Elves Porter effect is so nice. Right, Grand Exchange, we're making a couple of moves. Um, so we sold the school lantern I bought and then realized I can't use. We've sold some artisanal gears. We've sold the willow logs we got from level 60 woodcutting. 2.5 mil is not terrible. So don't uh mean about that. The Slayer Wildcard is one of 2.6 mil, and I'm going to take this Warcap Override, which we sold for 12.6. I am now going to make a stupid purchase, but for my sanity um, and overall enjoyment of playing the game, I'm going to buy a Look of the Dwarves, because I am bored of having to teleport to the Lodestone and then run into the Grand Exchange. So I'm going to spend... That money will not be like lost anyway. We can always like look to invest it another way. Um, other stuff I'm trying to invest in now are the stuff for the Rodomatic. So we're going to do Archaeology before fishing because I'm going to wait for these supplies to buy. Magic Shortbows are taking a little while to buy though, which is incredibly annoying. Um, I've decided to go through these instead of Salamanders, which could have been cheaper. Because these actually give two of the components needed for fishing rods anyway. And Magic Shortbows are quite expensive. Very strange. Uh, let's try Longbows. Oh, it's a shield bow, isn't it? So, if I have a look at what components come from it. Oh, never mind. Uh, it's supposed to be the I use. Right, okay. Shield bow. So, what I was doing last time was a bit of an um, archaeology. So, uh, archaeology was going well. So, we're going to do a bit more of that today. There's a few things I need to do for... Um... Ah, longbows don't give dex parts. Right, okay. Look at the dwarves is bought. Let's put that in for those short bows. Um, yeah, so we're going to go and wait for these darts to buy. Darts are probably the best for light components. I don't know, the, the, flight, the, the little dart symbol, the best for that. So between darts and short bows, that is going to be the fishomatic sorted, and that will be our fishing sorted. I'm going to go back to archaeology games now. In terms of challenges, we've got... Construction, fishing, dungeoneering, which is pretty nice. Dungeoneering, I'll just do that. I need to go and do the lower floors, so I've not done it, so I'm just going to use tokens to complete dungeoneering. But that'll be a nice chunk of XP. We'll probably get level 61 there. Right, so I'm going to do that. For the amount of questing we're going to do as well for a little while, that is going to be so nice. Just not having to teleport to the lodestone. Straight to the Grand Exchange. I was a bit annoyed, really, because the wrapping paper events in recent times have been based at the Grand Exchange. So you've had a free Grand Exchange teleport anyway. Um, I need to go do some mysteries as well. Right, so. Just need to go and complete this mystery. But we've done all the lower tiers. So what I'm doing at the minute, because our archaeology level is higher than where we currently are in terms of collections and stuff, I'm just collecting what I need to do for collections. Right, so this is shadow, blood, smoke, ice. And there we go. It drops down. We have done that. So we've solved our second mystery, 900 XP. And then we have a new spot down here for this. Um, we need to look at that ancient mechanism because that is another one as well. That's time served. So from this spot, we need to get five time pieces and four pendants, which works for us. So what I normally do now, because my soil box isn't the best, I fill what I can and I just drop the gravel afterwards. But yeah, while all the stuff is buying, archaeology is just a perfect type sort of time sink at a minute for us to just jump into and get done. But yeah, we'll come back with uh, anything which is major. Um, I'm just going to AFK away for a little while, crack out some videos on the main account, and uh, yeah, get going from there. So, pretty big level there. That is level 50 archaeology, and that unlocks desperate measures, which is a bit of a high tier quest. Also, Rheumatic as well, and another spot in Everlight. So, I've just gone through the Zaros dig site, um, and basically got all the artifacts I need to do, all the collections for that, up until level 50 anyway. So, I'm just going to unlock the assistant. So, for that, I just need to go and 
basically restore some artifact, I think. Uh, let me find out. So, we need to do for assistance. So, the restorer, I need to do 21 and then do a collection, which we can sort that out now. We can put the runematic into tool belt and get the only one back out. While I'm here, I'll do my divine locations. Again, infinite porter buff. So, so good. And as you see now, we are using a dragon hatchet. So, we've upgraded in the world. So after we've got all the things we needed, we'll have the, uh, access to the material storage container. We'll have access to be able to upgrade our soil box. And then we're going to go and do a stint at the Zami area. After I've made a few videos, actually, I need to make a few videos on the noob accounts. Well, bond accounts even. And then, yeah, we can go back to the AFK live. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I wanted to um, get some balance in my stats. I'm currently waiting to get some invention components to move on to fishing, get fishing ticked off at like level 60 or 70. And then we've just got a solid base then of 60s and 70s. And we can sort of push through those quests soon. Um, the promo next week is going to be the Santa's Grotto promo. Notoriously good the past couple of years. So I'm going to push hard for quests, get the keys and then use it on the promo and then hope to get some decent lamps, stars and all the other good stuff. Uh, wrapping paper, we're doing good across 50k. Um, which is pretty nice. I'm setting a bit of a goal of 200,000, I think, which I think we can do quite easily. I'm not setting expectations of getting the Santa's hat. It's a bonus if I do get it, um, but really what I'm going to use it for is a nice stack of oddments and also use it to sort of like get some stats up. I'm going to use it quite aggressively on invention, get us um, higher up in invention to be able to access quite a few other things as well. Really, I want to get archaeology to a point where I can access the auto screener and then come back to archaeology once we've got the invention level to be able to make it. So that is our divine locations. Uh, I might be able to do one deadfall trap actually. Oh yeah, easy. The one hunter. Right, so hopefully we've got enough enough material to be able to go through all these, and hopefully as well, this should be a nice big spam of collection log. Which we don't get enough of on Iris 3, um, but because I'm a new account, stuff like this should trigger the collection log, which normally gives me a drop down. Where is my drop down? So I actually did 1000 gravel um, and screened it with the with the porter. So I'm hoping we've got more than enough materials to be able to go through all these. No, so we've already run out of something. Right, so it's white oak. Oh, there we go. I don't know why it's not done that for the rest of them. There we go. All the collection logs. Level 51. Ah, so that's white oak as well. Okay. So because I have made a clever, clever purchase. Oh, I so, I'm so glad to have bought it. It's just so nice. Admittedly, that cash stack is not nice. But we've got ways to ways to make it. Um, What am I looking to buy now? White oak. Just buy 100. I should do. Uh, I need, 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 need two dragon stones. Look. Now, somewhere now, we should get the ability to say we've done the 25 restores, which is one thing for the assistant. And then once we go and handle this collection into the Lucia, that will be the assistant qualification unlocked. Which is not like mega for updates, but it gives us the access to have a bigger soil box and other little bits, which will help us long term anyway. Right, EFG. Now, hopefully, keep doing that one. Yes, so that is the restorer done. We've missed a restorer somewhere, but it's done. Right, okay, good. So, we'll go to archaeology collection. Done. We'll also go to Varrock as well. While I've got it in my invert, I don't forget. Oh, look, seven day bonds and the assistant qualification. Another achievement. The collector for the archaeology collection is here. Soran. Just throw everything in for that. And then that can be a, another collection done. Although I need to go and get... Oh, for God's sake. Right, I'll do that later on. So, we need to go here. Oh, big T. Big T. Big T's in the monolith. Beautiful. So we are now an assistant. We have unlocked a new mystery. We've now unlocked the team, which is what we're going to go and have a look at now. And send Big Jim. 
Off you go. At some point, we'll have to send him off for some missions for the next qualification. But I'll do that in a bit. Right, so good thing about the assistant is we can now buy some stuff from the shop, which is the assistant level. So... Okay, so the associates, where are we going to need to go for the auto screener? Okay. Silver box upgrade is what we need. Material storage upgrade is what we need. Really, I should go and buy another 3k chronos. Which, because I've got my handy ring, I can go and do. Although that's going to really eat into my cash stack. Right, so now I've got the Ancient FG. I can just go to Soran and give him what he needs. And actually, that might sort us out. So I want Chronotes visible. It's pouch 8.4. I'm sure 8.4 is what we needed. Yes, right. Brilliant. So I bought everything from the shop. That will help us. I can offer this to the monolith. That will take that off. Um, and then we can go off to the Infernal Source and start Zami. Skelly by Everlight. Never heard of it, but that's pretty good. Another Everlight spot uncovered. Hunter, we can now do the Quest Chaos Dwarf. And we can do Skill Jumpers for Woodcutting as well, which is nice. So we've offered that into the Monolith. Oh, okay, that's nice. Right, so that is the Zaros Camp kicked off for a little bit right so now we're going to go and do the zami um dig site which is good because we can just hop through and just do what we need to again i really like these cutscenes we do for the dig site it uh, really puts in like what it is so zami actually the lower level stuff we've actually got to do a bit of a stint i need to get something like 20 artifacts which will probably see me out for the rest of today and um, focus on the main account and do all the main account stuff it will work for us all right let's go down so the first spot as well, we can find some free materials here. So the hooker pipe and the wine goblet. I need four of the goblets and three pipes. So I've sorted all these Amarok items now until level 65. So that's all covered off. Um, I'm just playing catch up now with archaeology where I'm just getting all the items needed for collections. But we're using magic note paper to note paper any of the... Um, Soil because the soil is quite high, so brimstone like is 2.7k. So I'm not going to drop it, especially with no paper being 400 GP. It's just it's not a loss by doing it, right? So now we're going to go and move on to the Everlight. I'm going to get rid of that music because it's annoying. Turn that down in case we have voiceover. Let's go explore again. One of the best looking uh, areas in the game. The Everlight really they really added themselves with the Everlight. Right, so the first spot we need to go and find, I think, I'm not sure if it's here. Ah, there we go, yep. So, for the Everlight, we've actually got quite a bit of catching up to do. There's something like 30 different um, artifacts we need to, well, 30 total artifacts we need to pick up. We're going to be here all the way up to like level 69, 70 or 72, which will keep us busy for a bit. Um, and then we need to go and unlock an current, no, that's Senestine. We need to unlock Senestine um, to then do that. And Anachrony at some point as well. Actually, no, Anachrony is level 90, so Senestine will need to go and access as well. I forgot about Senestine being a, a campsite, so that would be pretty good to go and do. I've never done that one before, so it would be interesting to go and see that. Don't really need a lot of um, items for collections over there. And to be fair, it's only 60 to 67, so we can finish a lot of logs quite quick. Which for us is what we're trying to do, like logs in... Mysteries especially are things we need to get done for level 70. And that's where I'm going to sort of aim for archaeology to get to, um, 60, 70. And then we can call that a day with that. Um, and then finish off the rest of our porter stuff with fishing. So that is going to be the end of this video. I know there's been a lot of skilling, especially a lot of archaeology. But I really want to push this Vorkav shard or Vorkav bonus as much as possible. And try and wrap up our skills as quick as possible to be able to quest. But if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel, plenty of other videos on the channel as well, money making guides and other stuff. So make sure to give them a watch as well and check them out. But if you have enjoyed once again, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon in the next video.